In the hunt earlier today, you got to see Nikki and Ripley having a bit of an issue with one of her retrieves on a duck that had fallen a little bit further out into the marsh. The problem was the fact that Ripley had not been had not had any exposure to that kind of a retrieve in the mud that was going on out there. And it's not always that we have that opportunity to be able to make retrieves or to practice that kind of retrieve in that situation such as that. The main problem that Ripley was having at the time was that she was not understanding her depth perception to the level that we needed to have. So in today's training lesson, that's what we're going to begin to do. We're going to teach Ripley how to have confidence in how far she must run out into the water or the slough to find the bird or the target that she needs to pick up. So to set this up, I have a thrower out here behind the bush that's going to throw a Dokken dead fowl trainer out into the water and into the grass you see out here in front of us. Once that bird's in the water, I'm going to count to two and then I'm going to release Ripley to go out and pick that up. When she has the bumper picked up, I'm going to whistle her back into the heel position and if she does well, we're going to back up her position and repeat the mark again. And we continue to back up until she was showing us she could make a good, solid, determined run out there and be successful with the retrieve. So what do you say we get started? Hey, hey, hey. Ripley. Here, here, here. That's my girl. Come here. All right. Now this is kind of what we were talking about before. Here. That's my lady. That's my girl. Okay. Heel. Let me get turned around here a little bit. Sit down. It's kind of muddy out here. This is kind of the same situation that we were dealing with earlier in this hunt as I spoke about and that Ripley was given a what we call a line. It means when I release you and you're looking at the bumper I want you at, you're to keep that line and go out and pick that up for me. So what happened here is that when I sent Ripley when she was looking at the bumper that I wanted, she made a decision as she got closer to the edge of the water to avoid that and decided to go around the edge of the water to my left. Again, if you remember right in the hunt, that's kind of what she was doing there. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I called her back from that, so it kind of taught her that that is not the line I want you to take. Now I'm going to set her back up and I'm going to move her up here closer to the edge of the water. I'm going to have my helper throw another bumper out into that water with the hopes that by moving her up to the edge, she'll decide not to go down to the left side. All right? So, here. Sit. Very good. Now we're at the same point of origin where we began. I'm going to intentionally move her forward to take her mind off of the left-hand side of this border. All right. Here. 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 Sit. Here. Sit. Good. Now you see she's still kind of looking down that way and that's normal. You could expect that because it's an easier route. Now I'm going to have my helper throw another bumper out into the water and then I'm going to release her. Sit. There's the bumper. Ripley. Now that's the kind of a line that we want. So you got to see how we got her pulled off of that suction of that left bank. Good. Here. Here. Very good. That's what we're after. You got to see. That's my lady. Very good. Very good. That's the sequence that will help you a great deal in helping your dog understand depth perception as well as being able to take a straight line when she goes out and makes the retrieve. All right. Now I will tell you, sit. The next thing we could do from this point, sit is I would, now that she made a successful run from the edge of the water, is we would begin to move her back in eight to 10 foot increments and continue to repeat that mark, okay? Until you got four or five good retrieves out of it, then you could call that lesson an end for today and then come out tomorrow or the next day and begin to repeat the same sequence, all right? That should give you a good start on how to be able to clean up those lines and work on the dog's uh, depth perception and her memory, all right? Good luck to you. I know this is gonna work. We'll see you soon. Come on, baby.